Hi everybody, it's Claire here with um, an album that I'm working on. It's not a finished album, um, but I wanted to share it with you um, as a work in progress, really. When the Portobello Road papers came out, the Paper Mania papers, I decided that I would make a, a very red, white and blue album. Um, family album, really, with lots and lots of pictures in. Um, of things that have happened this year, things that we've done, um, and some of my favourite photos. So it's taken me ages, I've probably had the papers for about eight months, and it's taken me ages to think about how I wanted to put the album together and what I wanted it to look like. Anyway, over the last few days I've made a start. So this is the cover, and as I say, I've used the Paper Mania Portobello Road collections. I've used the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 papers. Um, I think there's eight of them in the collection. These are all Union Jacks, but reds, blues, dots, spots, crowns, flowers. Really, really lovely. Um, all on a, a sort of cream background. Oh, and some airmail papers as well. And so I've used the 12x12 12 12 papers and the 6x6. I've made a chipboard album. So this is 105 by 85 inches for the cover. And I've put in it, I think, 28 pages. And I've made it as um, I've made my stitched books. So each page is lift those out, double and stitched onto a spine piece that I've then stuck in. So, so far I've done the cover and I wanted to use, I've got lots and lots of stamps, some fantastic indigo blue stamps and some artistic outpost stamps that are very British along with all the other stamps that I've collected over um, the months that I've been scrapbooking. So I wanted to use all of those inside in some way or other, so it is going to take me quite a long time to put this together. But I've done the cover, so I've used two of the papers from the collection to cover the binder with, and then I've used some craft card, and that was from Anna Marie Designs. These are indigo blue stamps here. I've used the cutout from the 12 by 12 um, cover page that came with the papers, the Portobello Road. I've used the Sizzix rosettes, um, that's the small um, strip, so two different sized rosettes. And then the flags I've cut out of the um, cover sheet as well from the paper. And then on here, we go down to London quite a lot. It only takes about an hour and a half. Um, so the last time we went down, I picked up some charms. So this is an I Love London charm, and I've just attached it to the ribbon, Union Jack ribbon that comes with the collection. I think that's quite enough on the front. It's all very busy. And then I've laid the pages out as I want them. So I'll just take you through. It's all very plain at the moment. Um, I've used some 12 by 12 papers, some 6 by 6, and then the whole thing, I've put some photo mats in and pockets in already, but the whole thing will then be covered in um, a photograph and various stamps as well that are all going to be coloured red, white and blue. There's some of the photos that I want to use. I've made some tags as well um, that will slot behind photo mats. Let's just stick those back in there because they're going to be put in. So just mixed all the papers up. They all go really well together. Um, I just hope that I'm not going to overfill it. There's another photo mat waiting for a picture to go on it. And up page there. So it is going to be quite simple, the pictures are going to be very visible um, and I'm going to put lots of sort of um, detail about them in the book as well. 
So I'll come back and do another video when it's finished, but I just wanted to um, share this with you so that you can see before and after um, looks. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with the finished album.